Good evening and welcome to the Gothic Bohemian Salon. I just wanted to go over this makeup look really quick and um, just kind of talk about it because I decided to use all high-end products except for a couple of little things and I kind of am trying to see if there's a really big difference between these high-end products and uh, lower-end products. So. Um, I thought I would try this out uh, late at night, as I often do um, when I'm about to make a video. I uh, tend to get made up at something like 1 o'clock in the morning, and then I stay up all night and see how the makeup wore overnight, which is kind of different than walking around going outside and stuff like that, but I often end up um, still wearing my makeup uh, from the night. Uh, during the daytime as well, so sometimes it's going on 18 hours of wear, which is a pretty long time, is it not? So I used a lot of um, glittery things, which uh, isn't recommended for people with older skin, but um, I decided that I wanted to use this NARS eyeshadow that I've been sort of collecting a little bit, and that stuff is glittery, so what can I say? I started out using, um, I used a lot of samples that I was given, so I didn't uh, purchase everything that I used. Um, the first thing that I put on was um, a Shadow Insurance uh, by Too Faced, um, but not this one, the, um, the glitter gel, um, eyeshadow insurance by Too Faced. So I started off with that uh, because I was going to be wearing glittery eyeshadow and I figured that would be a good way to start. And then uh, I did my eyebrows the way I always do with two very low-end products and that is the e.l.f. $1 eyeliner first and then the um, Wet n Wild Waterproof H2O eyeliner over that, over the top, and I sealed it using, once again, e.l.f.'s Makeup Lock and Seal. So those were my low-end products, uh, I think, pretty much. And I then primed my face using two primers, um, the Professional on the parts of, oops, sorry, on the parts of my face that were uh, porous, like in this area, my nose, um, in this area, across my forehead, and then for the rest of my face, I used the gorgeous Hourglass Veil, um, which is uh, the small size, which is only $18, so it's not a terrible uh, financial hardship. Also, the, this size of the Professional is $9, and it lasts for a pretty long time, so it's um, more expensive than e.l.f. or, you know, other things from the drugstore maybe, but um, possibly worth it. Uh, the Professional is a really nice primer. I really, really like it. I also um, did use the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix, and this is also a uh, sort of a travel size, so it's cheaper. It's $14, I think. Um, well, cheaper, you know, and um, let's see, uh, oh, of, of other cheated, I did use a little bit of the Maybelline Age Rewind um, under my eyes, so I think that's my disclaimer for cheap products. So um, I began with the, uh, like I said, the Professional and Mineral Veil um, as my foundations and stuff. Uh, I did my eyebrows first. Then, um, for my eyes, I started out with this NARS Andy Warhol palette. This is really a beautiful palette. It's um, really exceptional. It's these flowers. I mean, you hardly really want to dip your brush into it, honestly. It's just so pretty. Uh, but I did, and it actually didn't ruin it at all. I used the white one in the corners and over my eyelid, and then the purple one in the corner, 
of my eye to kind of start doing a little bit of a smoky eye. Then I went into this beautiful NARS um, Arabian Nights uh, trio, which I love so much. It is so beautiful. I just had to get it. Uh, now I got these, oh there, now you can see the colors much better. They're really true to color and with the um, glitter uh, shadow insurance from Too Faced, they really came out dark and really, really nicely. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, so I used uh, the color of this that I used, hang on, is actually um, this one here as my dark um, shadow in there. If you can see that. <laughs> so um, that's the eyeshadow look. And then I went in um, with uh, a sample of Hourglass's foundation that I got from Sephora. And I had gotten it quite a while ago, so it was quite dry. So I mixed in a bunch of the Veil primer to try to mix it down to a, a workable um, consistency. And it went on really beautifully. I have to say I'm really liking foundation. I didn't use any concealer at all. It seemed to cover up everything that I might have wanted to conceal just fine. And then I set it with um, this little tiny, uh, little Makeup Forever sample size of HD powder. So like I said, I wanted to use all high-end things today. Um, then I went in with uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Film Star Bronze and Glow um, to do some contouring. And I contoured, you've seen this before, this beautiful thing. Um, so I contoured my cheeks a little bit, very lightly, and I used the, um, the highlighting shade as well. Um, it's very subtle, very subtle. Uh, it's just such a lovely thing. I did use um, e.l.f. brushes, actually. I should just uh, also say that. That's another, another thing. And then um, uh, my blush is this Gilly Hicks. I have no idea if this is high-end or not. I got it at Marshalls. It could be high-end. It could not. I have no idea. But it's this beautiful color, and it's the only blush I have that uh, might be high-end, so I thought I would try it out. Um, really pretty color, and I use that on, um, you know, just, just a little bit right there. And then my lipstick is uh, Charlotte Tilbury's K-I-S-S-I-N-G in Night Crimson, which is my new favorite lipstick. It is beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous. It smells wonderful goes on really nicely and it's a lovely color as well so I'm really in love with it it's very pricey it's the most expensive lipstick I've ever bought in my life it took a long time to save up for some of these things I'm not a wealthy person by any means I did wait for uh, coupons uh, and discounts um, $10 off at Beautylish for your first order etc. Free shipping at another place. Um, eBay for the NARS eyeshadows. I definitely didn't pay full price for those. And samples from Sephora. Uh, my uh, eyeliner was um, Sephora, so not exactly high-end, but not cheap drugstore either. And I used the um, flashy liner, waterproof liner in black. Uh, it was the highest uh, end eyeliner that I have except for this Ch Chanel liner which a friend gave me years ago which is charcoal and I wanted something darker so I did the darker one and then um, one of the perks from Sephora again is this Marc Jacobs mascara which is the best mascara I have ever used and that is saying a lot because I've tried a lot of different mascaras now um, not, I haven't tried like Yves Saint Laurent or Christian Dior or, um, you know, 
uh, those quite yet, but um, it's the highest end that I've ever had, and it's the most expensive one, I think. I'm not sure how much it is when you buy it normally, but um, I'm sure it's pretty expensive considering how expensive Marc Jacobs is, so um, I'll uh, be looking into that because when it runs out I'm probably going to be interested in maybe buying it because it really is uh, seriously some of the best mascara I've ever used. I may just try reusing the brush in a different formula, but um, how can I describe it? It goes on so nicely and separates your lashes beautifully, and no matter how many coats I put on, without even having to wipe the brush off, it just um, doesn't clump up. It keeps the eyelashes nicely separated. They uh, curl beautifully. It's just really nice. So, what can I say? I love it. Um, and like I said, I finished off with the Makeup Forever Mist and Set, um, which is the sample size. So, by buying things on eBay, getting sample sizes, and getting things when there's a $10 off for your first purchase kind of thing, I've been able to afford some things that are a little bit pricey and do this look for you. So I hope that this was interesting. And um, thank you so much for joining me in the Gothic Bohemian Salon. Uh, take care and remember, embrace the darkness.